Hey guys, it's Bradley. Welcome to my channel, The Portly Gentleman. On my channel, I do all sort of home brewing stuff, a lot of brew tool stuff. Uh, you name it, I'm gonna try and do it, focusing on high end. This is gonna be a product review of the Ibrex Hop Growing System. Full disclosure, this hop growing system was sent to me for review. Let's jump right into my review and my thoughts on the system, having installed it and grown hops on it quite successfully, I might add. I did have some trials and tribulations and I do have thoughts and this system definitely needs improvement. When you first get the system, it's gonna show up in just a big ass long cardboard box. Uh, it's nicely packaged. Nothing was damaged during shipping. Most of these components are very robust. The assembly process is, is where it gets convoluted. Their instructions are garbage. They're, There's just no useful uh, diagrams really. Um, it just doesn't, it doesn't articulate what exactly you need to do. Their video, although it's beautiful and cinematic, it doesn't really get anything across that's you know useful. The some details you need about some of the uh, the uh, gripple connections and a couple of the guide wires that come off the top of the system. So in the the log on the uh, the kind of the uh, components list is is numbered wrong in the instructions I have received with my kit. I have been told that this has since been fixed for something that costs as much as this system does. To me, that's blatantly unacceptable. Um, if I had paid full price for this product or paid for this product, uh, I would have been extremely frustrated within the initial, just reading the instructions and realizing it's not very thorough. Having said that, there has since been a, a video kind of tutorial put up by Short Circuit Brewers. I'll link to that in the end of the video. I really wish that would have been available when I built my setup. All right, so the, uh, the the installation process, it's pretty straightforward. You put up the large posts behind me. Uh, my advice is, to, they want them to be level. I would cant them slightly in. You can use these upper cables to kind of pull them out. Uh, that's my advice. Uh, it comes with a nice landscape auger. Hook that to your drill and just kind of run that auger up and down to clear the hole, you should be fine. Uh, all the gripple connections work well. I had a couple that did not, uh, they, they were failed from the factory, so they were kind enough to uh, send me some more of the gripple connections for the upper cables that kind of run cables through the entire thing that everything trellises off of. Another point of failure was these bolts. They use a stainless steel bolt. I initially sheared off four of them. They're common size. I was able to get them from uh, my local hardware store here in town for, you know, five, less than $5 for everything, but they sheared off, they're just, they were of a low quality, I've been told that they have replaced them with, a, I guess it's a different material bolt that's far stronger. So moving forward, that's really good that they have uh, the, right, the right stuff in there to make sure this stuff doesn't fail when you're putting it together because that was quite frustrating. They also didn't have any extra components in my kit. There wasn't an extra bolt. There are these clips that hold the actual trellis wires and I had a couple of those one of them was defective, the holes were misaligned so it wouldn't grip the cable. The other one I flat out broke and there was another one that also failed. I don't remember the specifics. Remember, I put this together back in March. I've since been told that they are including extras. One or two of these things can't be that expensive. All of the cables that hold the system are of a high quality. They have a rubberized outer texture on them, stainless steel on the inside, nice cables. As far as the posts themselves, there's some sort of a glass reinforced composite. I don't know exactly what, but they seem robust and durable. The whole system, once it's assembled, seems like it's gonna last you many, many growing seasons. I would say this thing might last 10 years. Uh, it's very simple. Now, after my initial complaints of assembly, I can tell you that today, I could probably build another one of these in less than 45 minutes maybe an hour. Uh, it's actually very simple once you understand the basics of it. They also sent me six hop plants. One of, 
one of which died, not their fault. It was a FedEx. This is right when the whole um, pandemic started to happen and FedEx lost my package of hot plants for about a week and a half. Uh, I got them, planted them in the grow bags. Uh, I asked for the 10 gallon grow bags. Those are, the grow bags are awesome. They're regular quality. They're of a high quality, I would say. I've seen some at Home Depot that seemed cheaper. Uh, remember, the, these 10 gallon grow bags, each one is gonna take about one of the, uh, the 2.5 cubic foot bags of potting mix. I just used miracle Grow uh, for, you know, fruits and vegetables potting mix. And uh, I potted up my clones and planted them. I also got three rhizomes from More Beer. And I can tell you the rhizomes are the smaller ones in front of three of them. Those did not keep up at all with, with the Ibex clones. Those things grew way faster, stronger. I also have a full crop of hops this year. Um, moving forward, I don't think I, I would get six varieties. I think I would get two, I would only get two varieties because mine are all mixed together. I'm installed in a pretty tight space here at my, my house, my lots. Uh, it's good size, but I have a big one story house. So it takes up a lot of my lot. So I have it behind me, uh, but the hops grew really well. Uh, they trellis super easily. Obviously you can see being able to lift and lower this trellis is really its party trick. super easy to, if I wanted to train anything as it was growing, I was able to train it, no problem. Also come harvest, which I need to do like today. Um, it may, it's gonna make it super easy to access any point of the hop plant that I need to access and fiddle around. Uh, you can grow hops here in Southern California. It's been in the hundreds lately. Uh, we had some wind and it really kind of cooked a couple of the, of the little, uh, little hop flowers, but most of them are still intact. I'm gonna use them probably just to some sort of smash beer. Uh, I didn't get anything that was too bitter. I got mostly noble hops because that's more my thing. I watered mine. I just hooked up a micro spray system and tied it into one of the valves on my uh, home's irrigation system. That's worked great. Uh, hop plants are pretty easy to take care of. Honestly, I haven't had any uh, pest or disease problems, not even caterpillars, which blows my mind because we've got caterpillars here for sure. Um, Ibex is going to introduce, I think they missed it this year, but they have a, a hop growing nutrient pack and that's cool. There's not much info out there on what exact nutrients your hop plants really need to, to thrive and have the best possible yield and quality. So they've done that research and they know what to sell you. I think it's pretty reasonable. It looks like it's enough fertilizer to last quite a while. Uh, the shipping, the kind of the pre-designed uh, shipping stuff I've seen. So obviously I griped a lot and rightfully so, but this is a good system. I think that uh, to, to make something like this in wood would be extremely heavy. Uh, it just wouldn't be practical. Uh, the cost would be cheaper, but would it be as good and as user friendly? I don't think so. This is best lowered with two people, at least in my installation, uh, but you could definitely do it with one, no problem. Wood, it would be heavy. There's other ways to do it people have done. They, you know, they suspend them from a pole and then pull them up on a cable, but that's gonna cause the vines to fold a lot and maybe break. Uh, and some are ready to harvest at other times and some are. In my instance, I went slightly narrow just because of space and some of the guy, the guy wires on these spring clips and big duck bills that anchor into the ground. On the left side here, I have a poured uh, slab on the side of my house. So I just got some D-rings or a D-ring and some red heads in my little uh, roto hammer and slammed a D-ring in got a shackle, hooked it to it, it works just fine. Uh, so that for me worked. You don't have to use the duck bills. There's other anchor points you could use. I suppose you could use a big heavy block of cement or something and anchor the system just fine. Uh, mine's stood up to pretty decent winds. We have these weird Santa Ana winds here in Southern California. They're not here yet, but we've had gusty winds. Nothing's blown over, <laughs> jacked up the cones. 
but everything has been just fine in that aspect of the, uh, of the whole experience. So kind of my final verdict on the system is, it is good. Um, in practice, it works as advertised, as you would expect. It's gonna last a long time, I think. I'm gonna keep using it. I really, uh, I know that their manual's been ironed out. I know that Brian's video is gonna help a lot of people. Like I said, it's not complicated, but it is just a little different. Uh, I have a good amount of experience in viticulture and whatnot, and same components are used, oddly enough, but it's just slightly specialized, so hopefully they refine their manual and they've got better components already, and that's what this system was really missing. Just uh, the right high quality component and a couple extra components, just in case you drop something in the lawn or drop it through your deck. Uh, these components, little pieces like that, really put the polish on the product. So yeah, I would definitely buy this, I think, especially now that there's a support out there by the community trying to help people understand how to use it. And the company is, they're very uh, responsive to me and I know other people I've engaged with that aren't just YouTubers, they've really kind of strived to help them and make sure the product is, they're satisfied with the product. So I think that is great, it, it cannot be beat in that aspect of the company is very responsible. Ibex, they make a lot of cool other stuff, raised bed stuff for growing strawberries and other kind of berries. Uh, that's mildly interesting to me. I do love berries, everyone does. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this has been Bradley. Remember, home brewing is good and I'll see you real soon.